Hello Gearpacked friends, we've got another key lighting keyboard for you today. It is the Casio CTK 560L. This must be one of the first in Casio series of key lighting keyboards and I guess it's showing a bit of its 90s nostalgia in the design. Not much else has changed though, it's still got the same key lighting system. The idea being that you can learn the tunes and hopefully learn how to play piano a bit better and maybe even read music by following the lights, looking at the songs and putting your sheet music up on this little wire sheet music stand here. From a tone and rhythm point of view, it's almost exactly the same. Well, that might be a bit of an oversimplification, but we do have the basic same set of sounds. The piano, again, very much in the 90s style. It sounds adequate. It doesn't modulate or anything as it fades out. It's just a very basic, simple piano sound. And there are several of them to choose from. Including some electric piano sounds. And a reasonable clavy sound. Some old school horn sounds. slightly synth-like pipes. Some reasonable strings. That's quite a nice one. One or two nice bass sounds. More synth. And of course a drum set. Now let's switch over to rhythm. I seem to remember that rhythm number 19 was quite good. Perhaps it was 18. There are actually some reasonable drum sounds here. Those bongos in the background are quite digital. And overall, it's pretty fun to listen to. Of course, if we switch over to Casio Chord, we can go ahead and play that rhythm again. And get some melody. So the 100 rhythms work in the same way that we've seen on Casio keyboards for a long, long time. Normal mode, where you play piano just like normal. Casio chord, which is just one fingered chords, and then fingered, which is where you're actually playing full chords like you would with a piano, but those chords are automatically controlling the accompaniment as it plays in the background. There's a three-step lesson system as well, which is pretty much just three levels of difficulty. Step one, for example, will just light up a melody for you to play along with, a familiar one from the list of songs at the top here. And you get sheet music with it, which you can follow and then progress through steps two and steps three, which get more difficult as you go. Selection of rhythm, sounds and songs is all done by the keypad. No plus or minus button, so you'll have to select the actual number of the one that you want. Key lights don't have to be on. You can override them or switch them back on again using that button right there. And of course we have a demo.
So what's my overall impression of the CTK560L? Well, because of its appearance, it's going very cheap these days, and because it gives you pretty much the same key lighting and lesson system as the newer keyboards, I think it's a bit of a bargain if you can find one of these. There's very little change in the sound. The rhythms are perfectly acceptable. There might even be one or two there for when you're a little more advanced, you might want to actually use them in a song, or if you like sampling, they could be quite amusing to sample as well. Same goes for the voices. There are some good synth sounds there and some quite amusing sound effects as well. The songs are the usual set of old classics. I guess they're not really there to be enjoyed as such. They're there to help you to learn to actually play piano. The key lighting system might work for you. It doesn't work for a lot of people. It certainly doesn't really work for me. I don't think it improved my skills at all. But it's something that everybody should try at least once, I think. And just a quick look at the back reveals virtually nothing. You've just got power and headphones.